wrongful death lawsuit filed after death of baseball star. The family of a baseball hall of famer have filed a lawsuit against the tobacco industry it feels was responsible for his death from salivary gland cancer in 2014. It alleges that Tony Gwynn was manipulated into the lifetime addiction to smokeless tobacco that ultimately killed him after he was induced to begin using the dip when he was a student at San Diego University. The suit was filed in San Diego against Altria Group Inc., previously Philip Morris, among other defendants. For more than 30 years, Gwynn used up to two cans of smokeless tobacco, such as Skoll, per day, the apparent equivalent of four or five packs of cigarettes. The suit claims that Gwynn would dip Skoll as soon as he woke, sometimes falling asleep with the product in his cheek. According to the suit, the tobacco industry was keen to market its products to African Americans and that Gwynn, a rising star athlete, was unwittingly recruited to their campaign, despite the company's knowledge of the dangers to health posed by smokeless tobacco. Now that the family understands how he was targeted, they understand that the industry knew they had this highly carcinogenic product and they were marketing it to people like Tony. So says David S. Casey, lead lawyer for the plaintiffs. They want to hold them accountable, he continues, and let a jury make a decision as to what is proper in this case. Gwynn's son, Tony Gwynn Jr., a former major league outfielder, claims that his father did not smoke or drink and did not know how addictive or harmful smokeless tobacco would be when he first started using it. The tobacco companies were using his addiction to turn him into their ultimate walking billboard, Gwyn Jr. said, continuing to say he never knew it, but they were using him to promote their dip to the next generation of kids and fans who idolized him. Smokeless tobacco is deeply embedded in baseball culture, although there is increasing awareness of its risks and some are campaigning to ban its use at ballparks. It's already off the menu at San Francisco, Los Angeles, Boston and New York City grounds. Gwynn's lawsuit claims that the defendants intentionally misled the public, promoting smokeless tobacco as a less harmful alternative to smoking, despite the evidence of addiction and significant risks to health. Gwynn was diagnosed in 2010 with cancer in his salivary gland and died aged just 54. Bank of Cardiff is the nation's premier small business direct lender. Bank of Cardiff offers direct funding to small business owners making working capital loans, small business lines of credit, equipment financing and equipment leasing to all 50 states.